Well, in the last segment, I showed you how to take advantage of the Image Library workshop, which is found under your Workshops tab. And it's this panel over here on the right side of the screen that provides a convenient way to store 2D content, like bitmaps and JPEGs, for different things like warning symbols, icons, or maybe pictures of tools or fixtures or things that you might want to use. Well, a lot of this content comes right out of the box, but I want to show you now how to customize this with some of your own content. First thing we'll need to do is find out where our image library is being referenced. And the easiest thing to do is just click in this field and copy that path, and then just go into a Windows Explorer and paste that path in. And that'll, that'll take you to the directory where all of your 2D content is being stored. Now you can remap that path if you want to store that on a network location, for example. I've got another icon that I want to put into this library, and it's a, a picture of a cordless screwdriver. I've got that out here on my desktop, so I'll just go and copy that JPEG file, go back to my image library, and paste that in. Once that image is pasted in, I'll go back to Composer. Now you won't see the image library panel update dynamically. To, to do this, you'll need to just go into another directory and then back out again to get that to refresh. So I'll just double click on this widget directory and then back out again. And I should see my library is now refreshed with my new icon. Now let's just drag that into the workspace somewhere. If you click on it, you can now resize it and position it. And of course, all of the property information specific to that 2D panel shows up over here. So I can change the color, the leader, the, the shadowing, and so on. Let's put an attachment leader on this, maybe an arc tooltip. Now by default, that's going to come in pointing sort of to the middle of the, of the model. But while that's still selected, you'll notice that I have a little handle, a little red dot. If I just grab on the dot, now I can drag that and position that where I want. And maybe zoom in on this a little bit. So that now I have a very clear illustration of what tool is required for this procedure. And that's looking pretty good. That's a great way to use the image library anytime you need 2D content inserted into your 3D scenes in SOLIDWORKS Composer.